like white or paper birch. Yellow birch is another species that you don't need to know all of the traits about it to be able to identify it. You just need to know one, and that's its bark. Like white birch, yellow birch bark is peely, and it peels horizontally. Unlike white birch bark, yellow birch bark tends to peel in these little shreds rather than in those broad flat sheets. Like white birch, yellow birch has that distinctive birch bark. It's peely horizontally, and it has also those horizontal dashes, those lenticels that are very, very distinctive. But yellow birch bark is metallic and golden. There are no other species in this forest that will have bark even remotely like this. Another interesting trait about yellow birch, if you have a yellow birch twig and you scratch it and sniff, or if you chew on it, it smells and tastes like wintergreen. Whereas white birch can only really grow in the open, yellow birch is a tree species that we find in smaller openings in the forest and gaps that can be a quarter acre in size or less. It often grows on disturbed soil and rotting wood. So a lot of times if you have a generation of yellow birch trees that are all about the same age, it'll tell you that a smaller scale natural disturbance or some logging occurred in the forest. And the amount of years ago that that occurred is equal to the age of those yellow birch trees. Another cool thing that yellow birch trees will do is that sometimes it'll look like they have legs or that they're doing dance moves. What this is, is that they start growing on rotting wood on a stump or on a log. They reach roots around it and then the piece of wood that they were growing on rots away and just leaves the tree standing. Another difference between yellow birch and white birch is that yellow birch can grow a lot longer. So we can see yellow birch trees getting to be 250 or 300 years old.